everything on mapping and function for you today so do what to watch this video to the end and I'm sure you're gonna enjoy it so we said what is a function a function is a relation between two sets A and B are you with me now a function is a relation between two sets A and B and what is a set a set is a well-defined collection of data so that means I have a set called A and I have another set B Now, in this my set A, this my set A is what we call the domain. This A is called the domain, and this my B is called the co-domain. Are you following? Now, element in this, let's say I have an element A, B, C, and D, and I have an element R, S, C, and U. Now, the elements in the domain are called objects. Elements in the domain are called objects, while elements in the code domain are called image. Are we getting that now? Now, we now have something they call the range. What is range? Range are the images that have objects. So, range are what? images that have an object are you seeing that now so this is what we define as function so the a is called the domain the b is called the word the code domain elements in the domain are called objects and elements in the code domain are called image right now what is now Mapping. Mapping is any rule that associates two sets of items together. So we said mapping is any rule. Mapping is any rule that associates two sets of items together. So just like I have a phone and a power bank, so let's say I have this my phone and another power bank, if I'm to connect my phone to a power bank, the only thing, this my phone is a function, my power bank is also another function, and one thing that will connect my phone to my power bank is what we all call the cord. Now that cord in mathematics is what we refer to as mapping because without the cord, there will be nothing connecting my phone and my power bank together. Don't forget, both of them have different functions. I guess what I'm saying. So, a mapping is that rule that associates two functions together. I will get what I'm saying now. So, now we now said for a function to not be a mapping, for a function to be a mapping, for a function, for function. To be a mapping. For a function to be a mapping, it has to satisfy two rules. The first rule is that what? All objects, all objects must have an image. All objects must have what? An image. The second one is that what? Each, each object must not, is it must? Must not have more than one image. Are you seeing that now? Each object must not have what? more than one image now let us relate it with real life experience let's say i have the domain the domain will be called the children the domain are called the children and then the co-domain are called the father you know you grow from becoming a children to becoming a father you grow from a child to become a father 
So let's say I have this and this. Now he said, if I'm to relate this rule, if I'm to relate this rule to this, what I will say is that every charge A, B, C, and D, R, S, T, and U. What I will see here is that what every charge must look at it, every object and everything here are called charge now. So I will say all charge or every charge must have a father. And if you are to relate with me, you will notice that there is not body that can exist on earth without coming through a father figure. True or false? True. The second one that says each object must not have more than one image. That says that what? Each child must not have more than one father. True or false? True. You can't claim that you have two fathers. So you only have a father and every child belongs to one father according to biology hope you are flowing with me so this is how you can relate these rules to function you say a function is a mapping so for a function to be a mapping it has to satisfy this two. the first one is that what every object or all objects must have an image the second one is that what each object must not have more than one image and we are going to be seeing an example here right now that will determine what these things are being referred to. So stay tuned as I see the first example. Thank you. All right, we have an example here. We have A, which is A, B, C, D. We have B, which is R, S, T, U. And we should find which of the following is a function. So just put this in the form of a diagram. So the first one is F, A mapping to what to B. So you have A, B, C, D, then you have R, S, T, and U. So they say A is mapping to S, so A is going to S, B is mapping to U, B is going to U, C is mapping to T, C is mapping to T. So is this a function, yes or no? No, it is not a function. Because the rule of a function says that what? Every object must have an image. But D is not having what? An image. So F is not a function because D does not have an image so because this d is not defined to an image that is why this f is no longer a what a function now let's see g so you have g mapping a to what to b a b c and g r s t and u so they said A is to S, B to U, C to T, D to T. Now, is this a function? Every object have an image confirmed. The second one says that what? each object must not have more than one image. How many images did A have one? How many images did B have one? How many images did C have one? How many images did B have one? That means G is a function because everything is defined. Now, we said every child must have a father. Can a father have two child? Yes, a father can have two child, but a child cannot have two father. Do you get that? One? So now to our H of A, let's define that here. We have H. A to B we have A, B, C and D and we have R, S, T and U so they say A to S A to S sorry, A to S B to U B to U B B to T also 
B to T, H to C to U, C to U, then D to T, D to T. Now, is H a function? H is not a function because B is having two fathers, is having two objects. B is claiming two objects, which is T and U. Because of that, H is not a word, it's not a function. Are you getting what I'm saying? H is not a function because B is claiming ownership on two image, which is not supposed to be. So therefore, H is not a function. I'm sure you understand what we talk about mapping a function. So the first thing we defined here is what a function is, and we said a function is a relation between two sets A and B, and we say a mapping is any rule that associates two sets of items together. We say the domain A set A is, is, is the what is the domain, the set B is the code domain, and elements in the domain are called objects, while elements in the code domain are called images. And then we also went further to define a range, and we say the range are the images that have what objects. And then we said for a mapping to be a function. The first thing that has to be defined is that what? every element, every object must have an image. Or you see, every element in the domain must have an element in the word, in the cool domain. And the second is that what? each object must not have more than one image. So don't forget the real life experience, the real life um, situation I gave, which is the case of a father and a child. That will help you to understand this um, topic on mapping and function very well. So don't forget to subscribe if you have not done that like and share this video and i'll see you